Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. Today is so exciting because we have yet another Eurovision 2023 entry and it's coming from Belgium. Let's get into this reaction. <laughs> I got a new video. I got a new video. Alicia Michelle. Anger. I'm ready to go. How you feeling? Eurovision fam. Are you ready for the show? <laughs> if you've never been in my channel before, welcome. If you love the Eurovision Song Contest, what are you waiting for? This is your moment. This is your chance to get connected. I love the Eurovision Song Contest. If you're here watching this, I think you might too. So please take the opportunity to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe because I have so much content coming for you. Our Eurovision season is just getting started. Okay, so let's talk about Belgium at Eurovision. Belgium has won once and lately at Eurovision, I mean, they've qualified the last two years, which is good. So, you know, when they decided to mix things up and bring back the national selection, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried. I thought the internal selection was going well for them, except for the fact that they have not qualified a couple of times. I think if you look at the last 10 years, it's been a little bit of a mixed bag for Belgium. But the thing is, when they're good, they're so good. And I mean, even some of the times that they've not qualified, honestly, it's come down from my perspective to the staging. It's all about how they decide to interpret it on the stage. And I guess the benefit of having a national selection is we get to get a little bit of a window into what that full package could be. So I will say I did not react to any of the songs in this national selection. I don't know about any of the competitors. So I'm going into this pretty clean, pretty like, I don't know what the front runner was. I don't know if this one, that one was the front runner. So really my opinion is gonna be pretty untainted. Um, it's not like I'm like mad something else didn't win or something like that. So I'm very excited to get into this reaction. I'm just gonna go for it. At least with Belgium, I do feel like even when they've had young performers, it does, outside of Laura Tesoro, it does feel like Belgium gives us this elevated quality that I would say lately. I mean, Hoover Phonic, great. Blanche, City Lights, young performer, but that song was so good. Elliot didn't even get to qualify, but that studio track is great. I mean, even Cynic didn't qualify, but it's a great studio cut. So I'm I'm thinking this should be kind of like a full package. Belgium has had good studio tracks. They've sometimes failed on the staging when it came to Eurovision, but since it's a national selection, we're gonna see some staging. So I'm excited to get into this. Play. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is Dancy because of you. And that's the title of the song because of you. Oh, I. Okay, so this is like house music. I kind of like that. I love a house track. I like the fact that we have staging, I, I mean, and styling. You know, we got the Jamiroqua hat. Nah, it's not the exact Jamiroqua hat, but we're rocking headgear. Okay, there's a vocal here. Well, these lyrics are trite. But a lot of house music has trite music. I mean, I love house music, but I, 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 I mean, this is this is a little trite for me. But, you know, because of you, we've heard this story before, and the the vocal is happening. It's not bad, but it's also not vocally challenging. So this is what won. Oh no! Um. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I'm. I'm having. I mean, this isn't bad, but this is just not 
where we need to be going this year for Eurovision. You know what I'm saying? I mean, great, simple vocal. Sit and done. I mean, I like it. I, I could, I'll listen to it. Because of you. Okay. I mean, this is just, this is, we've just been here before. There's nothing inventive about this. Really, Belgium? I carry on. Well, see, I'm already singing along to it. Okay, and we have a little vocal moment. Oh, I, oh, Belgium, I don't know about this. And y'all be spotty anyway on the qualification. This is not a guarantee. Because of you. I mean, I, I, I like the house. I, oh. <laughs> Oh God, Belgium! Oh no, 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 no! I, I, Belgium already has a spotty record at Eurovision, and now I feel like I need to see what else was in the competition. Because if this was the best one, <sighs> I mean. I guess it's a dun, 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 dun. I carry on. I mean, so it's catchy. So I, I know it already. So there there's something to be said for that. But th this is just, there's nothing. We're not building upon anything with this. It's not really giving me anything new. I've heard this track before, you know. I, I, I thought, I let me talk about the positives. I actually like the styling. I think it's it's something that will pop. It looks like a show piece. So I'm cool with that. I think that we could give our background singers a little bit more. If the background singers are going to be coming up and interacting with our vocalists, yes, they're still backing vocalists, but I think that we could give them something a little bit more cohesive and um, something that also looks like a show piece. So I would recommend that, but I appreciate the fact that there was styling, that, that was special it looked like he looked like a performer you wouldn't just see him walking down the street depending upon what streets you walk down you know what i'm saying this is like 50 50 qualification leaning towards non-qualification given belgium's track record it's it just there's nothing new about this it depends upon i guess what the competition is going to be but this is just you know it's like something about a eurovision winning entry there is something about it that feels special that feels not generic it feels like there's just this little bit of oomph and with this one it's just we've been down this road we've heard this house track before nothing wrong with it per se it's just like lacking that special something that's that special spark i don't know if this will be one of the worst entries this year it's still pretty early in the competition um but this this to me off of not having other song. If I was a Belgium Eurovision fan, I would not be prepping to be present Saturday night. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. This is lacking something special. It's it's lacking, you know, forward thinking. And I mean, one of the most modern Eurovision entries of like the new millennia, Loic Notet. Modern, Blanche's track super fresh so i i I, oof, I just this this for me for me um i'll be listening to it i don't think it's a skip because i like house music so i'll be singing along to it in my car i will i'm just if i'm being transparent but i would not be betting on belgium to be anywhere near the final this year and the crazy thing is I was more hopeful for Jeremy's track last year, but then, you know, he was having vocal issues. So then I didn't think it was going to qualify, but upon first hearing, you know, Jeremy's song, I, I, I thought, oh yeah, I could see this finding its way in the final. This one, I do not, I don't, as it stands right now, I don't see this anywhere near the final. Mm -mm, mm -mm.
sorry. Well, that was my reaction. Sorry, y'all. Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree? That's okay, too. Talk to me in the comments below. For those of you who see a path for this. Now, I will say Belgium has qualified with... Well, I wouldn't even say Belgium has qualified with less. No. I wouldn't even say qualified with less. Because Jeremy's song at least stood out in the pack. Last year it was really the only like R&B track for real that we had. So like, you know, true kind of R&B pop track. So that one was standing out. I think that we will have other dancey songs this year that might trump this one. And it's just, it's just lacking something fresh. I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't justify it anymore. Look, if you think that this can make it through, tell me how, tell me how. Uh, talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation and you know what? I'm so excited for Eurovision 2023. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I have so much content coming for you. Bye.